Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. The prophetic word is in 1 John chapter 4. We're going to go to verse 18. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. Your homework today is the whole chapter, 1 John chapter 4. So let's go to verse 18 and focus our attention on the prophetic word there. There is no fear, John says, in love. Instead, perfect love drives out fear because fear involves punishment. So the one who fears is not complete in love. The title of this video, interestingly enough, is going to be, as you will notice, I'm in love. How many times have you heard that? How many times have you heard yourself say that? I'm in love with this person. I'm in love with that. I'm in love with this situation. I'm just in love. Until the emotions change. Until the reason why you say you're in love changes. The environment changes. All these different things change. What the Apostle John is saying here at the beginning, he says, there is no fear in love. He's talking about God's love. He's not talking about our love. When we say we're in love with someone or we're in love with that, we immediately go to the reasons why we are. Their consistency, what we like to see in it, what draws us to that situation. That kind of love involves fear because we think ultimately that we're going to lose that which we began to love. We think that someone else is going to draw that circumstance away or take that circumstance away or that person away from us. So we have fear. It's not really the love of God. It's love in so much as it stays in the environment that we hope it stays in. But the real love of God, he says, there is no fear in the love of God. Instead, perfect love, which is God's love, drives out fear. So if you're actually loving with God's love, it keeps it it drives out fear and keeps it away. It's kind of like sweeping a room uh, with a broom. You're sweeping out those things that are filthy and dirty and cleaning up the ground around you. So you're driving out and pushing out fear when you love with God's love. But if you love with your love, some sort of fear remains, doesn't it? That's how you know that you're loving with God's love, one of the ways, and loving with your own love. It doesn't involve God because you're afraid. There's some sort of fear there that it's either going to lose it or for some other reason but there's the fear is very present but if it's god's love and it's held it's brought together held together by god's love there's no fear at all he says perfect love drives out fear because fear involves punishment so the one who fears is not complete in love there's many that are tempted uh, to think that you deserve to be punished for the decisions that you've made. Some people are in situations right now in their relationship with God and with other people. It's a really good thing. But the temptation that you have in your life right now is that if something bad happens in that good place, you deserve it. That's not true. That's allowing fear back in. That's relinquishing the love of God that should surround that situation and that person and you too with a fake love, a love that we that the world creates that involves fear. That's not the love of God because the perfect love of God drives out fear. The, the second thing the love of God will show when we're loving is maturity. Check this out. Because fear involves punishment. So the one who fears is not complete or mature in love. When we love with God's love, it grows us up. It's not circumstantial. It's not our emotions. It's not what we hope to see that we develop in the situation or what they'll be or what we're trying to turn them into or turn ourselves into to and call that love. It is growing up, maturing. And you'll continue to do, you'll continue to love the way God loves and the way God wants you to love. God bless you guys.